You might be wondering, what is a QR code and how can it help me in my business? At ERA Wilder Realty, we're utilizing QR codes as a unique way to market your listings through a coded image similar to that of a barcode. It's a recognizable image which holds roughly 4,300 uh, characters of alphanumeric data. It's beneficial because it's very simple and with a free application on your smartphone, you can access information you assign to the image with one click of a button without having to type anything. They simply point, your consumers simply point and let the application do the work for them. Displaying a QR code makes it simple for a shopper. They can see the instant reflection of a price change and you won't have to buy riders. It shows listing status, shows open house dates, seller contributions, etc. So today I'm going to show you how to make a QR code and how to read it or scan it. This is a QR code that you see right here in the center of my screen. And to create a QR code, we are going to first find a, a link somewhere on the web to which you want to point the QR code. So let's say you're a real estate agent with ERA Wilder Realty. And I'm going to choose Morris Lyles to test this out on. So I'm going to find Agent Morris Lyle's listings. I know that he is in the downtown office. And you can assign this image to any website. But what's great about this for our agents is that we can assign this image to all of their listings. So I'm on his page. I'm going to click my listings and what I'm going to pay attention to is this URL or web address at the very top of the screen in the address bar. This is a unique address to all of Morse's listings. So I'm going to select all, double click it, right click and copy this link and then I'm going to Roll up here and delete that address. Clear this out because what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a different website and it's Google's URL shortening service. It's at goo.gl. It's going to take me there. And what I'm going to do is I am going to right click in this box where it says paste your long URL here, click paste, and then all I'm going to do is click shorten. And it creates this link right here that you see. It's also right here. It's going to show you the details of how many people will click it as long as you start sharing it. I'm going to give you a few ways to share it too. But to see your QR code, simply click details. and you will see your QR code right here. It's this image. If you want to know how to use it, right click it, save image as, let's just name it Morris QR. I'm going to save it to my desktop, click save. And here it is right here. Double click on it. And here is the image. Now, you might be wondering, you know, what can I do with this image? If you, if you want to, you can get small stickers made of this image and place them on your business cards. You can put them on open heart house flyers, brochures, hand them out at speaking engagements. Um, if you want to get a large sticker made, you can put it on your signs that hang out front of your home, the listings that you have in the window of your listings, in the model home that you market, in the window of your car, or give them out to your clients to display and distribute. It's like mobile marketing of a different form. Put them on banners for trade shows, on your website, on your ERA super profile, on blogs or social networks like Facebook. Hey, change your Facebook picture, your profile picture, and ask people to connect with you. Invite them to comment on this code. Do you know what this is? This is the way I'm marketing homes. 
doing it a different way, and I'm going the extra mile for you. You can incorporate this into your home pictures if you link the image to a web address associated with a particular listing. I'm going to show you how to read them next. You've created your QR code and saved it to your desktop. Now let's just double check to see if you can read your QR code using your cell phone. I'm going to use my iPhone. So what I will do is I will open up the image of the QR code that I saved to my desktop. You will see it up here in the top right hand corner. Open it up. Here it is right here. And using my iPhone, I'm going to use an application that I really like. It's called Red Laser. It's right there. I'm going to open up Red Laser. And basically this application is going to take a picture of this QR code. Just simply by clicking this button at the bottom. I'm going to click it once and line up the QR code and it automatically takes the picture for me and it will ask me if I want to open the URL. Click open. And it is taking me directly to that web page that we linked to the QR code. You can see it. I don't know how clear. Let's see. There you go. That is how you read a QR code. There are many different um, software applications that you can use to read a QR code. I know with a BlackBerry, um, if you update BlackBerry Messenger 5.0, you can assign a code to a group. You can also go to scanlife.com on your BlackBerry and download that application for free. On an Android, you can use Android Tap. Go to AndroidTap.com and it's T-A-P-P. -P. On an iPhone, I like Red Laser or OptiScan or OptiShare. And on other mobile devices, you can go to mobile-barcodes.com or QRStuff.com. And you will see a variety of different applications that you can download for free that will be compatible with your mobile device. Also, there will be a list on the bottom of a document that I will save on our blog and through SlideShare that will give you direct links to these applications. Okay, that document that I was referencing in the video will be called How to Make QR Codes. This video is also available on YouTube and we are also going to post that document on SlideShare. The document will look like this. It will give you the benefits of using QR codes, some links, what you can do with it. Also, it's going to give you a detailed written instruction, um, instruction on how you can create your own QR code. And also, at the very bottom, like I referenced in the video, it will give you a list of links that you can use to download mobile, um, mobile to your mobile device of those QR readers that you might need. Basically, the QR reader is going to show you what your consumer will be seeing when they read or scan your QR code that you give them.